Welcome to ISAT Daily. I'm Matt, the parable. And I'm Sarah, Patriot Lockstep. So I wonder if we're ever going to find what's really going on with the January 6th commission <laughs> and everything else going on with that. It's, uh, it's changing. It's evolving over time. Yeah. You know, what was once, you know, labeled an insurrection is now changed. And, and now the players are a little bit different. Uh, some of the agent provocateurs are being looked at as well. Yeah. So, but we got a few slides here to take a look at. Let's see what's going on. GOP lawmaker won't comply with information request from January 6th Select Committee. Republican Congressman Scott Perry of Pennsylvania said Tuesday that he will not comply with an information and meeting request from the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th assault on the U.S. Capitol. The committee also requested Perry and provided any communications with Trump, his legal team, and others involved in planning the events January 6th and asked him to meet with panel investigators in the coming days. So, actually, there's a little problem with that. I don't think uh, they have any uh, opportunity to take any communication with Trump. Yeah. Um, it does fall under executive privilege, which was used from previous presidents for years. Um, so, I think they're going to get stonewalled here. Yeah. So, let's take it. There's another slide after this. But Perry, the incoming chairman of the Conservative House Freedom Caucus, indicated in a pair of tweets that he will not be cooperating with the select committee, which he said is illegitimate and not duly constituted under the rules of the House. I decline this entity's request and will continue to fight the failures of the radical left who desperately seek distraction from their abject failures of crushing inflation, a humiliating surrender in Afghanistan, and the horrendous crisis they created at our border, the Pennsylvania Republican tweeted. Um, his actual tweet says, I stand with immense respect for our Constitution, the rule of law, and the Americans I represent who know that this entity is illegitimate and not duly constituted, constituted under the rules of the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, I decline this entity's request and will continue to fight the failures of the radical left who desperately seek distraction from their abject failures of crushing inflation a humiliating surrender in Afghanistan and the horrendous crisis they created at our border. Yeah, so the, the key part from what Perry said is not duly constituted, right. um, which in, in layman's terms, I guess you could say it's been, it was set up incorrectly. Um, it has no teeth. It has nothing. It's just like a, it's like a PTA meeting or something like right. that. They, they can ask. Um, they can't demand anything. They can't charge anybody. Um, there's nothing behind it. It's yeah. just like it's like a Saturday like a Saturday evening at Starbucks, and let's talk about politics. Yeah. Um, so let's, there's another slide after this. Let's take a look. It's unclear whether the January 6th panel will move to subpoena Perry following the decision not to cooperate with their probe voluntarily. Investigators have so far pressed at least 50 subpoenas for documents and testimony from a slew of individuals and groups tied to the January 6th assault including top White House and Trump campaign aides. The full House has voted to hold two people, Meadows and former Trump advisor Steve Bannon, in contempt of Congress for defying subpoenas from the select committee. Bannon was charged with two counts of criminal contempt of Congress last month. So, again, uh, when you set up the committee wrong, you know, you're going to face issues where they won't even you know, come and talk to you. Yeah. So, and basically you can tell that what they're really, and I think one of the, one of the people on the committee even said so, I don't remember if it was Pelosi or not, that this is a data uh, finding mission yeah. or a document finding mission. So they're not really, you know, they're not really looking for truth. They're looking for anything. That fits their agenda. That if, well, it may be, yeah, maybe it fits their agenda, but I don't think that, uh, I think they want to find out what everybody else knows. Yeah. And uh, that's their main concern uh, because then they can prepare and try to deflect it in different directions. So anyways, um, I think it's a whole bunch of horse poop. They're never going to let it go. <laughs> they're never going to let it go. Um, eventually, I think they're going to have to, especially as people start creeping around and looking at who was pushing what. Yeah. Uh, I know they have uh, asked, or not they as in the committee, but there's another group that is actually looking at video right now. 
Mm -hmm. um, I know it wasn't a lot of video, um, but it was like 40 hours. And I, there's a total of 14,000 hours mm -hmm. of video about this. So, you know, hopefully they're going to be going in the right direction looking at some of these people who have federal connections and we can get to the bottom of it. Yeah. So please subscribe, like, and share, comment on the story, and have a great day, folks. Bye, everyone.